All right, y'all, on the bottom of our crock pot, we put in about half a jar of Alfredo sauce. All right, it's a 15 ounce jar. Next, y'all, we have some lasagna noodles. All right, and these are the regular kind, not the oven ready. So we're gonna put a layer right at the bottom of our crock pot. And I did spray my crock pot, all right? We're making a delicious, easy dinner. And uh, yeah, you can just kind of break them up to make sure they fit right. All right, on top of those noodles, we're gonna take the rest of this jar of our Alfredo sauce right on top. Like so, this is so much fun, y'all. So much fun, I love cooking, yay! Okay, next, y'all, we have some uh, shredded chicken. So we're gonna take about, about a cup or so of the chicken and just put it right on top of our uh, Alfredo and stuff. All right, just like that. So we're doing a nice layered dinner in our crock pot. All right, so for just a second, I'm gonna move this to the side. All right, and I have a bowl. All right, so in my bowl, we're cracking two eggs. One, two. All right, then we also putting in ricotta cheese. Uh, we, we're doing two 15 ounce containers of ricotta cheese, right, with our eggs, all right? Two 15 ounce containers. Uh, we also gonna do, um, I have one bag of shredded mozzarella. This is eight ounce, so we putting that in. And then now I'm just realizing I should have got a bigger bowl because we also need to put in one bag of shredded Parmesan. Yep, this is gonna be fun to mix, I already know. What was I thinking? Obviously I wasn't. All right, we're putting in a little bit of Italian seasoning, uh, a teaspoon or two, I don't know. We're putting in a little bit of garlic powder. I like garlic, so go heavy. Have a heavy hand with that garlic. A little bit of black pepper. I need to get a new pepper grinder. This thing annoys me. All right, we also doing a little bit of sea salt. All right. All right, y'all, so now uh, we're gonna give this a mix as best we can in this very small bowl, because I don't know why. I feel like I should kind of use my hands. I'm thinking about it. I'm having some internal dialogue right here. Uh, you know what, y'all? I don't know if I'm gonna do it. There's eggs in, I just feel like it might be easy, but then it's gonna be real creamy and messy. All right, y'all, I'm gonna keep mixing this up. Oof, my arm hurts already. Okay, yep, you know what, y'all? I don't care, we doing it. We doing it. We mixing it up. And guess what, y'all? I'm gonna have to pause this video to wash my hands because this is not, this is a big mess. It's a big mess. I feel like it would be too hard to continue with my hands like this. But yeah, honestly, y'all, this is the best way to mix it. Get those eggs mixed in. This creamy, delicious ricotta mixture. All right, y'all, I'm gonna keep mixing this up and wash my hands and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, so we're gonna take about half this mixture. I just finished uh, mixing it up and then I uh, wash my hands. So about half of this or so, and we're gonna put it right on top of our chicken layer, all right? So we're gonna spread this out as, as, as best we can, but it don't have to be perfect, y'all. Don't have to be perfect. Just as best you can. I feel like we need a little more right there and maybe a little more right there. All right, this is gonna be so good, y'all. Y'all are gonna love this, all right. Next, y'all, we're putting in a little more chicken, all right? So I, I started off with about three or four cups of chicken, so we put in another third or so, all right? Another layer of chicken, just like so. All right, and now, y'all, I also have here some uh, fresh spinach. Uh, I, I attempted to chop it up, but you know what? I got lazy, so you can chop it up better if you want, but we're putting a little layer of spinach right on top of our ricotta. All right, y'all, next, we doing... Another layer of lasagna, all right? So let's see, we're just gonna push this in here. And then, so about four noodles per layer. I'm trying to break it up as much as I can, but yeah, we're doing our best. This one's hurting my brain. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, I have a cheat sheet back here because it was too much to remember. All right, just so I didn't forget anything. All right, next, y'all, we have another jar of Alfredo sauce. So we're taking about half of this right on top of our lasagna. Yep, that was about half. Great. Now, y'all, we take in the rest of our, uh, of this. Hold on, I'm reading my, I'm reading my cheat sheet, y'all, to make sure I'm doing it right. All right, the rest of this, right on top. Lasagna Alfredo Ricotta. All right, y'all, I was just making sure. I'm not going to show y'all my cheat sheet, but I have one today, just because I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember it all, y'all. All right, so right on top. Uh, we're going to spread it out a little bit, but it's, it's going to be just fine like that, all right? Okay, next, let's see what's next. Chicken, the rest of our chicken, which is uh, about another cup or so. Cooked chicken, I made this last night. All right, right on top, okay? Next, <laughs> more spinach. More spinach, y'all, okay? Another handful or so, however much you want. I don't really measure it, y'all know how I do. All right, now, y'all, using the rest of our Alfredo sauce in this jar. 
right on top of our spinach, get it all out. Okay. And then what we're going to do here, we're going to top this. This is it, y'all. This is the end of the layers. We have uh, another bag of mozzarella cheese, about eight ounces. So we're going to put this right on top. All right. Yep. We're just doing that. Mozzarella. And then we also have some Parmesan. We're going to spread this out on top, too. This is a nice, full, hearty meal, y'all. It's going to feed a lot of people. I'm glad I have some friends coming over tonight. All right, y'all, then just pat it down a little just because it's fun. That's the only reason. Little Italian seasoning right on top. We're going to cover this and cook this on high for a couple hours, about two hours or so, and uh, y'all are going to love this easy chicken lasagna. All right, y'all, so this has been cooking on high for about uh, three hours. So we have our white chicken lasagna. Remember, we put layers of chicken, lasagna noodles, ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese, and maybe spinach. We put spinach in here too, y'all. So this is a nice hearty meal. We're gonna be able to feed a lot of people with this. So let's get some of this out. Oh my goodness, y'all. It just looks like a big sloppy mess, but it's gonna be good, all right? Let me see, I gotta get some of these noodles. Where's the noodles? They're in here. I'm telling y'all they're in here, but it's just all kind of blobbed together, which is fine. I love ricotta cheese and that's it. All right, y'all. So we're gonna move this to the side. I'm excited, this smells real good. Even though it, it don't look that pretty, but Where's the noodles? Do I have any noodles over here? Hold on, y'all. I'm about to dig in here. I want to find where those noodles are. Well, I put them in here. Y'all saw, so... Oh, there's some. Okay, give me, give me some noodles. We did, like, three layers of noodles, I think. I can't remember, but there we go. Okay, I got a noodle. That's all I wanted was one noodle, y'all. All right. Okay, y'all, I'm going to have a little bite because it's going to be hot, but we just got to taste it for the flavor, all right? Mmm. Oh my goodness. Y'all, this is the winner of the day. If you see me wearing my new favorite cat shirt, this one is the winner of this day. Every day there's a best recipe. Today, it's this one. Y'all have to try this.